In today's video, we will cover how to create a feature with a bottom radius and a taper. So you'll see that this feature in the top, this window um, or pocket, has a taper on it already. So we're going to add the radius. So I'm going to come to my SolidWorks features and add a fillet and just click on that bottom surface. And this is going to be an eighth of an inch. So choose OK. And now we've got our fillet there. So the next thing I want to do is come into our CamWorks workflow tab. And I'm going to make sure that my machine set up to the correct machine and the stock as well. Um, and the next thing that I want to do is run our automatic feature recognition. So I'm going to press extract machinable features and it's going to go through and find all the machinable features on this part for me. And the one that I want to check out is the regular pocket uh, one. So it's got a rough finish strategy that it applied to the feature. I'm going to check out the parameters. So I right click and choose parameters. And you'll see that it noticed the bottom radius. And it also took in the uh, taper information. So this feature has actually been um, found by the automatic feature recognition. So you can kind of see um, the upper selection of the feature is in green and then the bottom selection is actually inside of the radius. So if I wanted to select this feature myself, um, I'm going to create new two and a half axis feature. So choose the setup that I want to put it on. This is going to be a pocket. And my selection um, is going to be the top edge. So I'm just going to choose convert to loop and I'll select that top edge and it just loops around for me. So my end condition, I'm going to choose that bottom face. Now you'll notice automatically when I choose that bottom face, it doesn't actually select the inside profile of that radius. So when I press OK and choose my parameters, you'll see on this pocket that uh, the bottom radius wasn't selected and the taper information also isn't there. So if I come back into that feature and I'm going to choose edit definition on that pocket, um, the first thing that I notice, um, the check for taper and fillets, I did not check off. I need to check that off in order to get that fillet on the bottom. I also did not add in the taper. So the taper is actually on the end condition page at the bottom. Um, so at this point, you could add that taper in. So I could just type in 10, degree, or, yeah, 10 degrees um, for the taper. Um, but that bottom radius needs to be, this check for taper and fillets needs to be on when creating the feature itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new 2.5 axis feature. I'm going to select the same uh, profile in the top. Make sure I check the check for taper and fillets. Go to my end condition. And this one, I'm going to choose the face again in the bottom. But this time, I'm going to choose this auto detect on the side taper. So you'll notice that this button was actually grayed out when I went in to edit the actual uh, feature previously. So it is grayed out if you go to edit any features, but when you are creating the feature, if you just choose auto detect, it automatically detects that whole um, tapered surface. So that's a really nice option um, when you're creating these features. It just automatically finds it for you. Um, so choose OK. Um, and now if I right click and choose parameters on that feature, I've got the bottom radius that I was looking for and all of my taper information is in there. So um, that's kind of the difference. So just make sure that when you go in to uh, create that feature, you're always checking on um, the, the option for check for taper and fillets. And then in the end condition, you want to just choose that auto detect or type in the actual um, degrees for the taper itself. And then when we generate the operation plan and then generate the tool paths, and these are just the uh, tools that it chose for these features, but I can always go in and change them to something more appropriate. But if I look from the side profile here, you can actually see 
um, as it goes down the part, it actually comes in on that taper angle. Um, the contour mill also does the exact same thing. Um, so with the contour mill for a bottom radius, what it'll actually do is leave a tiny little um, edge or a tiny little step that would be cut away um, with this ball nose tool to kind of finish off that that bottom radius. So um, that's kind of why we add in the bottom radius and the taper options inside of our feature so that we can more easily uh, machine it in the future. So that is how you add the bottom radius and the taper feature.